All right, class, I'm going to show you two things today. One is how to uh, copy and paste snippets of your code into your write-up, and then two, how to print out the whole entire thing as a PDF, and hopefully it's pretty easy. We're going to use the bakerfrankie.github.io website that I have linked inside the template. Make sure that you go there, and this is what you should see by default. Um, you want to put your code here. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of everything here. I'm going to paste in my code. I can, and technically, this, this is the same code that uh, from the last video that I showed you uh, from the student from last year. Now, if you look down here, after everything gets pasted into here, it makes a prettier document down below. And this is what you're going to use. Okay. Now, for 2C, you want to make sure that you have the one algorithm that has two other algorithms in it. right? And so I told you guys, ideally, it would be one function that has two other function calls inside. And if I go down here, we can see this says, let's see, this could work, right? But let's see, we can go down to here. And this is the play again function. So I'm going to go ahead and using the, the oval, I'm going to go ahead and select this. Now, I want this for 2C, right? So I'm going to hit Windows key, Shift S, and it's going to kind of darken the screen a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and highlight exactly what I want and do this here. Now I'm on Windows 10, so what happens is it's going to, it's going to save that to the clipboard. From here, and again, this is the shortcut, Windows key, Shift, and then S. From here, we go to, to Google Docs or wherever you're doing it in, and then I'm going to hit Control V, and it looks rather large, so I'm just going to go ahead and shrink it down a little bit. Don't make it too small because otherwise then the reader can't see it. So make it, you know, readable and we'll have it there. And don't worry so much about if it takes up too much space or, you know, just, just put it there and make sure that it can be read. Um, for the next one, what you want to do is go up and go to rectangle. And just a side note, Baker Frankie is one of the head uh, programmers for code.org and the CSP curriculum. So uh, props to him. Now we want to go ahead and put a rectangle around the function that you created. And let's say that this one here looks appropriate. So I'm going to go ahead and put a rectangle around this function that you have created. And again, do Windows key shift S and then you go ahead and highlight appropriately and it gets saved to the desktop. Now you can also do this on Mac OS as well. And you have to hit Command, Shift, and 4, and it's going to do the same thing. It's just on Mac, it's a little bit more subtle, like a little crosshair shows up, and then you just do the same thing. And it saves it to the clipboard, I believe. There's another way to save it to the desktop if you want, but saving it to the clipboard is fine. Go down here, Control-V, and again, make it a little bit smaller. You can keep it you know, large if you want to, it doesn't really matter. And then it's going to be here and make sure your description is up above and you kind of do this whole mess. And then from there, you're going to go ahead and, uh, you know, make sure that you can see it as well. Okay. So from here, after you get everything marked up, you want to go back to the Baker Frankie github.io thing. And you want to make sure that you print this out as a PDF. So if you go up above, and so and you see how it says hide show controls you can get rid of everything if you want and then go ahead and click on print from print print you want to save it as a pdf you might see your printer here as default make sure you save it as a pdf i'm going to save this to my desktop and i'll rename it maybe i'll say full code and then hit save okay from there you can see it gets it pops up and this is the full code with the rectangle and the oval in place. Okay, The whole reason for having this printed as a PDF is that if they can't read what's in your uh, write-up, in your, in your written responses, they'll come to this document and make sure that you have something. And they'll look at it and be like, oh, here it is. Um, and so it's just easier for them to see. Or if they're like, oh, I'm not sure how that's working, or they don't see how it's working within your program, your full code is here. Okay, So three things they need to upload. One, the full code, okay? Two, the video that I, I showed you guys how to do. And three, you wanna make sure that you put in the write-up as well, the written responses, and the three separate documents. Uh, the code and the write-up are PDFs, and then the, um, 
the uh, the video itself is just whatever you get from Zoom or Screencastify. It's pretty flexible. Um, just as a side note, from here, again, file, download as a PDF. So when you get finished writing, doing your write-up, make sure you download that as a PDF as well. And then don't forget, if you go to AP Digital Portfolio, and you type that and you search for that, most likely it's going to be the first one. Um, and make sure that the link says digitalportfolio.collegeboard.org. And that's going to be where you upload it. And again, go to the create tab or the create button or whatever link. And then there's three places or three things you have to upload. Um, and just make sure that you get that done. So if you have any questions, again, email me, um, hang out, message me. And again, if you go to Gmail and sign in with your school account, um, that little Hangouts um, chat sort of box is going to be down in the lower left-hand corner. You can search for me. It's pretty easy. Or you can, uh, you know, drop a comment in Classroom. Hangouts is the fastest way to go. And then the Classroom comment is the slowest way to go. But, you know, you do you. You let me know. And hopefully you guys are doing well. Um, I, I hope that you guys are working on this and, uh, you know, making some, some, some fun progress. And I, I really do hope that you guys are having um, a safe time and also learning as well. So anyway, um, I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Later.